making a auto copper ink farm. Um, and before we get into this, um, I'm going to say that we are a Tuesday tips every every other Tuesday. Um, so that's why I didn't do one last week. Um, so uh, let's get on with the auto um, copper farm. Um, what copper ingot farm? So you will need for this um, a pickaxe or any of any like sort, um, a drill, some coal totems, and a smelter conveyor belt. And these two things are optional because um, I know this can be hard to get, but you don't need this. Um, and then you need uh, only one really, but we're going to be making. Uh, a more advanced one, but it's not the most advanced as you can be. Um, and you might want some grass blocks if you need it. So what we're going to do is we're going to place the drill there, and as you can see, it's coming out this way. Um, and we might actually get some grass. Um, but um, so what we need to do is if we go over here, um, we need to get our conveyor belt. And just put that uh, there. And it won't place. Ah, uh, yeah, there we go. And then we can get some grass rocks. Maybe put it there. Uh, ooh, there. That was an accident. Okay. So, and then we need to get a coal totem. But we aren't gonna put that yet. Otherwise, cobble will start coming out um, when we haven't actually finished. Um, so then here, we're going to need to put another conveyor belt. And then an industrial smelter. So this is going to have a coal totem here, and it's going to power the smelter. Now over here, so this part is optional. Like, it can be hard to get a randomizer, uh, but if you have one, great, you can use it. Um, so basically, what we need to do is create a space and put the randomizer there. And then what we can do is also this next part is also optional as well because you can put an input output chest which basically just holds more um so let's put that there and that there um and then if you're doing it with the randomizer oh no we fell off uh you would need two industrial chests so if we put one right about here um, and by the way, this does come out pretty quick. So, some, and here we go. Um, and there we go. So yeah, uh, that's good. Um, and by the way, I did get to level sixty-two on forging, so I can do the input and chests. And now, what we want to do is we can basically come over here place a coal totem there so that's good and then a coal totem here but what we're going to do so we can speed the process we're just going to put coal bit in there and then some coal in there um, and we do actually have some copper ore um so this comes out pretty quick so it's like the iron um it can go pretty quick then the randomizer puts it into random one and this can hold 30 and we can actually go over here to our iron um and have a look i think yeah so it can hold 30 in each slot um so there it is um and also i'm just gonna cover how you can make all of the things um so, for the industrial chest, you need a conveyor belt, and 30 iron, and one medium chest, and for that you need 30 iron, and 50 oak planks. And for the conveyor belt, you just need steel rod, and some iron. For the smelter, you need 3 pink sticky gears, and 8 steel rods. For the randomizer, you need a crystallized iron, uh, one, 4 steel rods, and 5 iron. Um, and then for the crystallized iron, uh, well, for the drill you need the crystallized iron, one blue stick gear and eight store rods. And I think I've covered everything except actually the input output chest, which is, yeah, yeah. 
So if you didn't put out a chest, you need an eating chest and like I said, how to use it, or how to make it. And then you need two conveyor belts, one for each side, um, and 50 iron. So I think I might, oh, and then you can buy um, copper um, totems. And also, so I got pretty lucky here. And I can, what I can do is if I build over here, um, here we go, here we go, here we go. So what I can do is if I created another drill, I can put that here and basically I can feed it out and then I can connect them over to there. So basically I can create another conveyor belt or I could let's just like build so let's pretend the uh, where the copper all comes out is there. Um oh no, I got off again. So I think it would be easier if we did it from this side. Um so it'd be easier if we did it from over here. Um and here we go. Um so what we also need to do, I think we need to make it one taller. Or oh, actually, um we could just make this one going down. Yes, so uh, I used to have it on my old carrot cake farm, uh, where basically it would go down into, so it come out, fall down into it, um, and then this wouldn't be like above. Um, um, so yeah, that, that's, you'll probably find another tutorial for that on YouTube. Um, but I think that covers today's like project kind of, or uh, Tuesday tips. Um, and uh, if you guys did like this video. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one goodbye